This video is going to be for new Spark drivers as well as current Spark drivers who want to know what each tab in the Spark app has to offer you. I'm going to go through each tab. Let's get to it right now. Now that we're looking at our front page, let's start out with the change zone button. On the left hand side of your map, you'll notice the change zone button. Go ahead and click on change zone and then this will pop up the different areas within your region that you can deliver from. You can see here I have one, two, three, four, five, six different places to choose from. So then I'm gonna enter in which zip code I need to enter into for the zone that I wish to work in. Now you will look at the information button on the right. It pulls up the heat map legend, which will display different colors for busy, steady, or slow in your area. The compass looking icon just below the information icon is just a recentering of your map in your zone. Next, we will see below that the most important tab on this page, which is going to be the Get Offers Until tab. They only allow for, I think, four hours of time for you to schedule yourself. So periodically as you're working, you're going to need to pull this information up and change the time to extend your time while doing delivery. Many drivers forget to do this, and all of a sudden they're turned off of their app. Don't forget to do this. Make sure you change your time throughout the day to keep on going. Now that we've gone through all the home screen functions, look to the right of the home screen and you'll see a little car that says trips. You'll want to click on trips and what will come up is your trip history. You can look through the days and the past of what you've earned per delivery. You can go into those deliveries individually to see what the base pay was, what the tip was supposed to be, if there's extra earnings or anything like that. You can also see the current day trips on this so you can keep track of where you are every single day while out doing delivery. Next to the trip icon, you will see the dollar sign that says earnings underneath. Go ahead and click on that tab and it will pull up your earnings for the last several days. You'll be able to see how much money has been input into your account on each of those days in the past, as well as scrolling through the months in the past so you can see each week how much you've earned throughout those week periods. One of the things to remember is that this information isn't for your current day because customer tips come in after the day that you deliver the order and you will have to go into your information with the customer's order number to find out how much they actually tipped you after the fact of doing the delivery. This can be very confusing, so I don't really consider going in there and doing all that searching. I just take what the offer told me the amount would be and I move on from there. Next to the earnings tab is the notification bell. The notification bell just displays things that Spark is trying to communicate to the drivers, like if your zone is busy, or here for instance, I've completed enough trips to qualify for some earnings during an incentive program. Things like that will pop up under the notification bell. Now let's take a look to the right of the notification bell where it says more. The first item we want to look at is the select my default navigation app tab. You can select whatever navigation you prefer. I prefer Google Maps. I click Google Maps. I'm ready to go. Next row down is the my metrics tab. Click on that to see your on time arrival of pickup percentage, completion rate, acceptance rate, customer rating, items found, total trips you've completed, and helpful guides to help you understand each metric on your account. Next tab down is incentive programs. This is where you will see any incentive programs happening currently in your zone. Next would be the refer and earn program. You can look through this and you can refer friends with your referral code and earn money by doing so. Next tab down is the resource center tab. This Resource Center has multiple videos for you to be able to watch for any part of your Spark driver experience that you are confused on. You can literally go into here and watch multiple videos just like this one that talks about your branch wallet, 
or maybe trips or earnings or payout, any of those things, you can do that right here. The next tab is for certifications, which I have no idea what this is even for. Never looked at it. Not sure you need to worry about it. Next tab down is your help tab, which you can go into if you need to chat with support, call support from the phone number on the very bottom. It may have other ways to troubleshoot your app issues or order issues, things like that. Next tab down is your vehicles. So for me, I have two different vehicles. I have a small sedan and a large SUV. So I input whichever vehicle I'm driving, I select that vehicle, set it as my vehicle, and I take off driving. The last tab is your settings tab. There are multiple things in here, let's go through them now. Notification settings is when you can set how often you want them to track your location. I always use always so I know it's being tracked and I know what's going on. The next thing is gonna be troubleshooting, which can help you understand if you're having issues with your phone or cell phone service, things like that. You can see at the bottom of the screen where it says run test. You can run a test to see if there's any issues going on with your service or your phone. Next is terms of use. And this is gonna be your legally junk that most people will never read, bunch of fine print that talks to you about your entire uh, contract with Spark. You can read it at your leisure. Next is the NDA and dispute resolution agreement. You can read through this fine print to find out how disputes are handled with Spark. Next is the privacy statement of which currently there is no information available. Second to last is manage account tab. This is where you can delete your account. The last tab is signing out. This is where you would select to sign out of your account if you needed to. Wow, that was a lot of information. Don't worry, you won't really need to utilize the majority of these tabs. I hardly look at them at all, but this is so you understand what there is available on the Spark app. Thank you for watching my video. Feel free if you want to subscribe, watch a few more videos, that'd be great. Also helps the channel to move this video along and help others learn more about their app. If you do want to continue learning more about your Spark app, check out my shopping video as well as my pickup video to get you started on the right foot. You all take care.